Good morning, guys. Welcome to La Paz, Bolivia. Oh, no, it's not Bolivia. It's Mexico. <laughs> uh, we are still here in uh, Mexico, in the state of Baja, where we were last time in Cabo San Lucas. And we're just two hours north of that. And this is the biggest city actually here in the, in the area. This is like the seaside promenade of La Paz. The water is right here. The harbor is over there. Malik is gonna quickly go grab some food, grab some tacos. I'm gonna go back to our room because I'm actually not feeling very well today. Uh, yesterday evening I had a bit of a sore throat, but I figured that, that was because, well, I noticed that I hadn't drank any water the entire day just working and had anything to drink. As soon as I had some water, it was completely gone, but now I'm starting to feel a little bit tired, a bit of a sore throat. Normally, I would just be like, oh, that's a cold. But in this case, in the world we live in these days, it could very well be something else, so. I think I might have to go for a COVID test later. I think the odds are really, really low that I actually have it, because we've basically spent the week inside this room not doing almost anything else we were working so yeah i think odds are low but because if i don't go god knows who else i can make sick if i do have it and there's a testing center about uh, four or five kilometers from here so we can take a taxi and we should be there in five minutes let's do it batman let's go hello So many people here. Look at that queue. It goes like 50 meters. It's like there's at least 30 people here. Oh, there's more. Oh, this is going to take a long, a long time. And now, and now we wait. It's the same as every time. Like we've had this, we've had this done loads of times now. Usually just to be able to travel to a new country, but I should have the results in two hours. They gave me this little piece of paper. There was a promotion. I only had to pay 400. It literally said normalmente 600, and then promotion 400, and I was like, oh yeah, saving money. Or? So I just have to scan this QR code in two hours, and then it'll tell me if I have it or not. Okay, now stay your distance. I think odds are really, really low, but it would be super inconvenient if I did have it. Because we yeah. booked flights to go to Mexico City. We actually booked a flight to go to Mexico City tomorrow. We booked our hotel or our Airbnb for a week. It's all been paid for already. Um, it's not really that cheap to stay here in La Paz and there's not that many options to stay here. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, if you test positive, you need to quarantine, but this timing is like it would really suck it would cost us a lot of money yeah it would cost us a lot of money <laughs> like a couple of a hundred dollars uh, for the flights and for the stay that we booked yeah and we just booked it yesterday you know it would be like so. four, <laughs> four or five hundred dollars for the flights in the state alone yeah all right let's have a looky I have it. Prueba de antigeno de SARS-CoV-2. No, really? <sighs> I need to get tested too then. Yeah, but like... <sighs> uh, I was so sure that I could not have it. It's a good thing I went. Like, imagine if we got on the plane tomorrow. I yeah. have it. That's so weird. I mean, we haven't... Like, for the past week, it's now 10th of January. We've since, done one thing. Since we've been here? Like literally, we uh, did one thing. We yeah. went on the whale shark excursion. That must be where I got it. This really sucks. I mean, 
like the timing could not have been worse like we booked everything yesterday we spent like four hundred dollars on plane tickets and and hotels i'm more worried about the practicals of this than anything else like should i quarantine from you like how long do i have to stay inside where do do we stay here how am i gonna get food the wi-fi here sucks yeah. I'm actually not that worried about my symptoms. I have to get tested. Until what time was the testing center open? Y you can't just take a taxi now. Mm. You probably have it as well. Yeah, but I need to get to the testing center. And the only way to get there is by taxi. It's really far, like it's kilometers. Yeah, it's 10, 10 12 kilometers. Do we tell the people from the hotel? Like we can't not tell them. People have to be... I don't know if, if, if our room can give people COVID. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the stuff I touched... Maybe I should stay away from you in case you don't have it. Okay. <laughs> so I just contacted, contacted the medical center on Facebook and they're replying on my <laughs> Facebook comments. Um, he says, well, there's not really a specific Mexico uh, quarantine requirement. They follow the WHO and CDC guidelines. If you test positive, you should isolate for at least five days from the date of your positive test. Today. This, this is it. Like there's a door out there, but there are people out there. I cannot stay here for five days without going outside. It's not possible. It's literally not possible because we, we can't get food. Yeah. How are we supposed to get food, water? So we need to move to an Airbnb. Ah, uh, the COVID helpline, it's not picking up. It's called the COVID not helpline. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm not English. A little bit. A little bit. Um, Okay. You need to take a, a Uber or a taxi. I'm sorry for my English. <laughs> no, no, thank you so much for talking in English. It was a lot easier because my Spanish is not so good. Have a good day, James. Thank you, bye. Hi. Hello, how are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. Do you do this before? Yeah, a couple of times. The whale shark thing was supposed to be a separate video. It's probably not going to be because, I mean, basically this whole COVID thing sort of prevents us from filming the rest of that video. But we went snorkeling, snorkeling with, sh with shale sharks and it was amazing. Uh, but that's also probably where we caught it. There's one over here. There, you can see it, you can see the shadow, it's here, it's right here. It's over there. You can see the shadow in the water. Oh my god. You have to wait to go in, like, go in and group you, go in. I'm gonna group number two. It's right here, it's right here, it's right here. Look at him just hanging out. Oh, I just want to stick my head in the water. Right. We're going groups in the water, so it's going to be a nice experience. We're about four people in the water each time, which is uh, really good for us and also for the whale sharks. Cheers. 
to Corona extra. <laughs> uh oh. Just Corona on the boat. Corona outbreak. Mm. <laughs> Can't believe how much plastic there is here. Like Mexico must be one of the countries with the highest plastic usage in the world. It's crazy. <laughs> this is this is an insane amount of food. But that's the thing, it's like Mexican sushi, but you never know exactly how much it's going to be or how big the rolls are going to be, so I just ordered enough. But like this is sushi, but it's been a bit more like fried and breadcrumbs. These are some rice-based dishes with avocado and mm, I think this is salmon as well. Yeah, it's salmon. So it looks pretty good. Of course they have some spicy sauce because I mean spicy sauce is like a thing of life here if you have a meal without spicy sauce in Mexico. It's like not a meal. Mm. I'm sort of like, I want to eat more because I haven't had any food before, but I don't want to self-induce breathing difficulties. <laughs> because <laughs> now that I have COVID, because I noticed like half a minute ago, I was like, <clears throat> that was too much food. And I was like, this is from the food, right? <laughs> and the doctor asks you, like, do you have difficulties breathing? Yeah, but it's not from COVID. <laughs> All right, just got a message with my COVID test results, WhatsApp. Yes, I would like to download. Negative. You're kidding. Seriously, it's negative. How is that even possible? It says right here, negative. We had sex yesterday. <laughs> I'm going back to the toilet position. Like, I'm not gonna make you sick. But yeah, this really complicates things because what do we do now? Yeah, it's weird. Because, I, I mean, I had a little bit of a headache this morning and like a little bit of a sore throat. This really sucks. Like... This is very stressful. Not that I'm afraid of the symptoms per se, because I'm fine, but like... Oh, the flights and... The accommodation in Mexico City, not knowing how long we're gonna have to quarantine for, if we should do it together. It just. Oh, it sucks. <laughs> it would be bad enough if we could do it in like. in like a house. <laughs> I feel like. Like I should probably do it like separately from you so that I can't make you sick because I don't want to make anyone else sick but I literally can't even get food for myself so that's just very frustrating like I would prefer to do it by myself even though it would suck more but I literally can't I can't even walk down to get like Uber Eats nothing I can't get water anything so I can bring you water. Yeah. Yeah, but what do we do now? I mean, do we do we separate for a couple of days? You in one room and me in the other room? Because I also need to do five days of quarantine. Do we stay together or? Hello, world. We're now moving to our Airbnb, which we're excited about. It's like a more of an apartment. We're gonna show you that in a minute as well. We've made a call to our travel insurance company and they said uh, they offer some compensation for when we have to quarantine and they will also pay our uh, tests that we did. So at least that one is covered. And Kim had the idea that maybe our uh, flights can be rebooked as well. And I'm uh, actually checking that out and seems like we can for a fee of like $40, which is not too bad. So we won't lose our flights as well. So financially, things are looking a lot better than yesterday. So Nate is gonna go tell them that I have COVID, that I tested positive, 
so that they know that they have to be careful when they clean the room. I feel horrible about it. Like now other people are getting exposed to it because I have it and the vaccination rates here are much lower than they are back home in Europe. He said, yeah, thank you for letting us know we will be careful when cleaning the room. So yeah, that was it. Mm -hmm. It's about 700 meters, nine minute walk. Uh, we picked this uh, Airbnb specifically because we could walk there so we don't have to take a taxi. We carry this one for you, my lady. That really helps. <laughs> Thank you. Because now, carrying the bags, walking around, I had to notice that I'm a little bit short, Ooh, a little bit short on, on breath, which I'm usually not. And it's self check in. Yeah, it is. This is actually really nice. It looks fancy and a lot bigger than I thought. We'll be spending the next at least five, six days here. And if I test positive longer, but hey, at least for five, six days, we will be here. A nice sized couch here. I can lay here. It's very, very comfortable. We've got Kim's seating area. She will be sitting here away from me. Please stick a bit, a bit further. Outside, Look, outside, please. This is perfect. Outside. This is perfect. Now we can still hang out a little bit. If I were at a mosque, you can sit there. We can watch TV. And, and we have TV with Netflix. So we we'll do? be watching Netflix here. <laughs> please, please stay there. And then we have the kitchen with a fridge, blender, coffee machine. There's even some coffee here. We've got a uh, microwave, some arty fishies. Kitchen cabinets here, I don't know what's in there. Ooh, glassware. Ooh. <laughs> that is pretty hard, I must say. A bit harder than I'm used to lately. But uh, it is pretty big and I will be sleeping here all by myself. All by myself. Please, if people unsubscribe, this is not good for our channel. And then the master bedroom. Ta -da. Because she's the master, you know. Also, I have the bathroom, so I have decided that Malik has a shower in the sink. This is the bathroom. I like this place. Look at this. <laughs> All to myself. I'm really happy with this. I'm really, really happy. Really, really happy that I don't have to quarantine for five days in a room that doesn't even have a fridge or anything for that matter. Watch out, here comes the Comfort Express. First pillow. Oh. <laughs> this is actually really nice. Yeah. Comfy? And my favorite thing actually here in La Paz is that they both have Uber Eats and a Mexican version of Uber Eats, which is called Rapi. Rapido! Uh, rapi, Rapi. And you can just pick whatever you want and you can have food delivered, which is exactly what we're going to do. I come bearing gifts. That's weird. I am the gift. <laughs> That's the weirdest straw I've ever seen. We ordered some healthy stuff. I have a smoothie bowl. Oh, and I can feel it. It's cold. This is a banana chocolate smoothie bowl and a coffee. Oh, that's not good. This is some of the worst coffee I've ever had. I have a banana chocolate smoothie bowl. And I have a salad bowl with spicy tuna. Look at this, looks so good. Oh, mmm. Mm. If in Mexico on the menu it says spicy, it is really spicy. Hmm? 
So probably there are quite a few people watching this right now that have COVID as well. I just posted a story on our YouTube community, uh, a post on our YouTube community saying how I was sick, um, et cetera, et cetera, explaining the whole situation. And someone said, just know that you're not alone. And I found that to be such a nice, like a nice thing to remind people of that we're all in this together. And so many people have had it before you. If you have it now, just like me, just rest up, take care of yourself. You are not alone and it will all be fine.